Hi. Now, in this question, then, we've got our circle. It has the equation x minus 5 all squared plus y plus 2 all squared equals 25. And we've got to determine algebraically whether the line with the equation y equals 2x meets the circle. So, if you'd like to give this a go and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, I'll show you how to do the question, or you can fast forward and check your working with mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So, how would we go about something like this? Well, just a bit of background very quickly. If you've got, say, a circle, and you've got a line, then that line is going to intersect the circle in, say, two points. There'll be two roots, if you like, to our equation. But not all lines intersect circles. For instance, you could have this line which just touches the circle, in which case it's a tangent and there'll be just one root at this point here. Or our line will miss the circle completely, it won't touch it, so there'll be no roots, no solutions to our equation. So we've got three scenarios here then. No roots in this present situation, one root or two roots. And we'll be investigating this as the question progresses. So first of all then, what we're going to assume is that, say, the line crosses the circle. And this is going to involve solving simultaneously our equations. We've got y equals 2x. Now what I'm going to do is I'll number this equation 1 and we'll call this equation 2. So what I'm going to do is substitute for y as 2x into equation 1. We'll just write that down here, sub equation 2 into equation 1. Obviously you could make x the subject, x equals y divided by 2, and substitute that in place of x in the equation. But I think that would be more awkward purely because we'll be dealing with fractions. But that's up to you. So if I substitute 2 into equation 1, we've got x minus 5 then all squared, so I'll just write that in, x minus 5 all squared, plus, now instead of y here we're just going to write 2x, so we've got 2x and then plus the 2, and that's all squared, and it equals 25. So if we expand each of the brackets out, we've got x squared, and then we would have twice the product of these two terms. We've got minus 5x, we would double that and get minus 10x. And then if we square the minus 5, we've got plus 25. OK, so that's the first bracket expanded. Now with the second bracket, again, square the first term. 2x all squared is going to be 4x squared. Twice the product, the product of the two terms is 4x, so we double that, that's 8x. And then we square the last term, 2 squared is going to be 4, and all of this equals the 25. Now, I can see that we're going to get a quadratic equation here. If we group up the x squared and the 4x squared, we've therefore got 5x squared. Group up the x terms, minus 10x plus 8x is going to be minus 2x. And then we want this to equal 0, so I'm going to subtract 25 from both sides. So 25 minus 25 is 0, leaving us just with that 4 there. So plus 4 and it equals zero. Now, when we've got a quadratic equation, the nature of the roots, how many roots that we're going to have, is given by the discriminant, okay? And I'm assuming that you're familiar with this, okay, the discriminant. Remember, just briefly, that if you've got a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, then we would normally use the formula x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 
2a to work out the solutions to our quadratic equation. But this part in here, b squared minus 4ac, determines how many roots we're going to have. If b squared minus 4ac is a positive value, we get two roots. If it equals zero, we just have one root. And if it's a negative value, you can't square root a negative value, there's no roots. So it's this part here, the b squared minus 4ac, which is called the discriminant, gives us the nature of the roots. So if I work that out, b squared, okay, b is going to be minus 2, so if we square that, we've got minus 2 squared, minus 4 times a, a is the 5, times the c value, which is 4. And here we've got 4 minus, what's this, minus 80. That's going to leave me with minus 76. And so I cannot square root a negative number. So because this is less than 0, we've got no roots, so therefore no roots. And no roots would tell us that this line does not intersect the circle. OK, this is not, as I say, the line y equals 2x necessarily, and I haven't drawn the equation of this circle accurately. It's just the principle of this. So there's no roots, so it follows from here that the line y equals 2x, OK, does not intersect the circle. So just finish that off there does not intersect. OK? Um, I won't write the circle in because I haven't got much room there, but hopefully you get the gist of the problem. OK, so uh, there you go.